Today, I'm going to show you how to get to the back position of the back attack dealer. Before that, let me talk about something else. In the last video, I showed you the popularity ranking of class in Korea. Today, we're going to talk about the player's grade. Based on raid. Professional with raid's long experience, I'll call a player a professional who knows the basic and random patterns perfectly, and can play all patterns perfectly, with instantaneous judgment. Good play not like a professional, but a player who makes mistakes from time to time, but is good at raid, is called a good player. Play raid every week like homework. Half raid isn't perfect yet, but he's an experienced player. Try you are familiar with the game, and you are the first player to play raid. There are players who like raid, and there are players who like other things such as collection rather than difficult raid like me. You can also do max damage build for raid, like build for top ranker. Or you can collect various collections in Lost Ark such as card, gem, gold, etc. You can enjoy the RPG Lost Ark in various ways. Games are for self-satisfaction and fun, so don't stress yourself too much with raid. You can play raid for a long time, and become raid's professional, or you can only play Chaos Dungeon, and Descaluda, and find the joy of other games. And everyone has limited time to play games, so you don't have to rush to do everything at once. There is a set content that can be done even if the maximum level is 1615. Of course, the siege and other content will continue to be released. To increase the damage, you can increase the damage by blinding gear or engraving. And you can increase the damage by attacking from a particular location without this particular effect. There's the front attack and the back attack. If you do front attack, back attack, you can do more damage. Front attack increases damage by 20% and stagger increases by 10%. Back attack increases damage by 5% and crit hit rate by 10%. If you play in general and become a professional, you will find new fun. If the player has a better understanding of the pattern, he or she can play in a better position and cause higher damage. And you can do more damage with a good play. One of the ways in which these players' abilities can increase their damage. However, there are players who are difficult to play. So there's a class that's easy to play. There are easier ways to play, such as Glyvier Control, Dead Eye Pistoler, Ward Answer First Intention, and Gunslinger Time to Hunter without a stance change. Of course, these classes have a lower damage than other classes. That's fair. I prefer to attack quickly in a free position rather than attack with a back attack. However, Death Blade Surge has too much damage difference in back attack, so it has no choice but to do back attack. Let me show you how to get to the back position for the back attack dealers. Raid will be played by Boss Kimmick back attack Boss Kimmick back attack. So it's important to go to the back position when the back attack timing comes. There is a class that is good to go to the back position because there is a movement skill. The Reaper has a distortion skill that penetrates the monster, making it easy to move to the back position. The other class can be triangular and move to the back position using the skill twice. The Glavier can be moved in a triangle using flash, kick, and spacebar. If you don't have skill cool time, you have to walk. Gun Lancer has a lot of front attack skills. With Shout of Hatred, you can lure the boss to front attack. Or you can go to Shield Charge. Destroyer can go to Jumping Smash, Running Crush, and Space Bar.
You can also use taunt from endure pain like gun lancer. Sorceress is free from position in case of attack. It's easy to move using teleport. Of course, Igniter has to use magic amplification, so teleport is not free. Deathblade is easy to navigate to Dark Axle and Spinkutter. Burster can use Space Bar or Shoulder Charge while using the Tempest Slash skill. The Artillerist does not need to be moved to a specific location. The Artillerist uses Swing and Space Bar. A counter has been added to Swing. The Shadow Hunter goes to the combo skill of the Demonic Slash. You can go to Ruining Rush and Leaping Blow. Paladin, during the counter skill, Broad Slash and Executor Sword has an increased attack range, so you can also counter next to it. Holy Sword Outburst of Light can be counted, from a distance. Charge and Dash Slash are good moving skills. The artist can be moved to jumping. Bar jumps back with sound wave. March increases movement speed during skill use. But it's a skill that doesn't use both skills very well. So Space Bar is the only travel skill. Gunslinger has no position restrictions. You have a lot of mobility skills. Dead Eye goes to Somersault Shot, Space Bar, and Dexterous Shot. Machinist can surpass Fiery Escapes Boss. The Sharpshooter is the Moving Slash's only movement skill. Summoner has only a space bar movement skill. Shirty's Ignore Collision increases the movement speed. Arcanist has only a space bar movement skill. Striker uses Sky Shattering Blow and Storm Dragon Awakening. Use Moon Flash Kick and Space Bar. The Ward Answer uses the Shattering Blow and the Lighting Kick. Use the Sleeping Ascent Celebration and Space Bar. Use Moonlight Flash, Kick and Space Bar. Scraper uses Dragon's Advent and Charging Blow. Soul Fist has a free offensive position. Flash Step makes it easy to move position.
Thank you for watching.